This month we're stalking in the glorious Angus Glens with a few members of the Capriolas Club. With stags now out of season, we set out in search of red hinds. As usual, each guest is required to take a few shots at the target to ensure competence before we set off in the Land Rovers. With a number of stalkers and guests on the hill today, it's important that the stalkers communicate their tactics and pass on information about the whereabouts of the beasts. On the first day, club member James is paired up with stalker Johnny and both set off to glass the hill from a breathtaking vantage point overlooking the ink black lock. It's then that the hard work begins. The deer today are proving extremely challenging with a tricky wind that seems to eddy and change direction with each passing step. Both stalker and guest pause to take in the scenery and make fresh plans before making for lower ground. It's here that deer are finally spotted some 500 yards off in the distance. It's been a long hard crawl and worthy of reward. However, today James is denied a result as the deer catch wind and make off up the hill out of range. Stalking is not simply about the kill and with another day of stalking to come tomorrow, James and Johnny retire back to the larder to find that the others have been more fortunate. It's then back to the Glenesque Hotel for a well-earned dinner and a recounting of the day's events. Day two in the Angus Glens and we're in for some stiff gales as I'm paired up with stalker Ian. A plan is made and Ian communicates his intentions to the ghillie before we make our initial ascent through the trees. High winds can make for some challenging shooting Engaging wind direction is crucial in placing a well-aimed shot, and today is no exception. After a long climb, the stalker readies the rifle. However, with our hinds presenting no safe shot, we instead turn our attentions to a family of roe browsing the hill. Despite the wind and the angle, I'm delighted as the 100 grain bullet from the Ruger 243 finds its mark and the roe drops to the shot, some 220 yards up above us. It had been red hinds that we'd been after, however, I'm delighted with the shot and to have bagged myself an unexpected row in such blustery conditions. The ghillie is called and collects the shot row which is taken back to the larder, where we are delighted to find other beasts being prepared. It's been a great day on the hill and members retire once again to the hotel for drinks and some fireside chat. If you'd like to learn more about deer stalking or would like to inquire about the Capriolas Club, then visit our website www.countydeerstalking.co.uk.